All right, guys, welcome back. Leonard Gates, Rick Henze. If you have watched CSC Challenger Series the past two seasons, you will know this matchup very well. Uh, Rick Henze from Little, Little Falls, Minnesota, throwing his Rick Henze custom barrels. And then Leonard Gates from Houston, Texas. This, this has been the finals of the last two seasons of the CSC Challenger Series in race to nine formats. Now we got race to five with some 0-1 thrown in, buddy. Yeah, it should be a great matchup here. I'm looking forward to it. Rick Kinsey's going to get the start as well. He takes a deep breath before he gets underway. We'll go ahead and adjust our cameras here. It is a race to five, best of nine. It goes 0-1, cricket, cricket, 0-1, 0-1, cricket, cricket, 0-1, 0-1, cricket. And his alternate start. So Rick Henze would go first in the last league decider if they go to that point in the match. And we've seen a lot of last league deciders between the two of these guys. That we have, Sean. That we have. Uh, they've had a, some great battles in the CSC Challenger Series. I'm looking forward to an in-person battle right here, right now on USA Darts. Winner of this gets Kevin Luke. In the king seat match. Appetizing. <laughs> and winner will automatically be third plus, which third yep. place is how much money? Uh, 1200 bucks. Yep, $1,200. In cash and prizes. Outstanding. Soldier leaves 186 with a 180. See what Rick Henze can do. Would like another big treble. Gets it. Leaves 121 after nine. Soldier trying to put some pressure on this 121. And he is going to leave 22. Leonard Gates going to get a look at the 46 to break the throw right away. 14 for 32. What a big break. Right it is. The start for Gates. And you can see him give a little fist pump there. He knows it means a lot. 11 darter. Janelle going Rick Henze here. Just a quick little piece here as we look. Liz Tynan and Paula Murphy Woo. getting ready on board number two. Winner that, of that gets Olivia Terry in the queen seat. Exactly. Soldier only a four mark to get us started. What do you think wins these cricket legs? Above a six? I would imagine. I mean, they're great cricket players, both of them. Yep. Rick's got the whole family back there supporting him. There's the come on, Gator. He's back at it, man. Good darts there from Rick. Gets a five mark, waves it, waves it off. But it's good enough for now. On those 17s, just three singles there for Gates. Not ideal. This is, uh, Henzi needs to take advantage of it. It's a good first start. So you can walk it all the way over? Nope. Yeah, he's not happy about that round. Is one nothing lead here for Leonard Gates. We will move over to the ladies' match at the conclusion of this one. This 
our last top four match of the men's side, men's winner side. Winner of this one will play in the king seat against Kevin Luke. Big darts there from Rick Henze. Gates okay, just struggling here in this cricket leg. This is not like him. Not at all. Especially after we just saw a break a throw from him. Yeah, he needs to run all over this if you're Henze and hope this continues on to the next leg, honestly. Yeah, it'll, it will be cricket again, <clears throat> and it'll be Rick getting the start the next leg. No matter what happens here. I don't remember the last time I saw a 367 on a Leonard Gates at all. Quite a while. They have been playing since 11 o'clock. Although it is rolling really nicely, it's only... It's not even been four hours of play. Exactly. It's... It's going. It helps when you, you're not messing around getting to your board yep. and whatnot. They're pretty active and taking a couple practice throws and getting underway. These guys have been playing all weekend, so what more do you have to practice? And Rick Henze breaks right back. 1-1 one, one score line. He'll go first in this next leg of cricket. A 3-5-7 out of Leonard Gates is interesting, to say the least, out of him. I don't think we see that again. And how about this? Both Mike Maloney and Danny Baggish in the loser side of the bracket. Isn't it nuts? It's crazy. I do kind of want to take a peek here, actually, at a couple things. We're still waiting on a winner of Abby Spot and Chrissy Grimmel. Winner of that one will take on Caitlin Myers. Chris Wagner, Catherine Middleton dueling it out right now as Catherine was able to come out on top of Kasha Prisboer, her partner, yesterday. Big Smooth throwing in another big seven. a five out of Leonard. Paula Murphy pulls off the first leg on our second board. Okay. Well, that was definitely a seven because you can see the tip is in the board. So Mike Maloney will either play Larry Butler, Elliot Milk, Dimery Lawrence, or Garrett Rakowski. Okay. On the loser side. Steve Hilker just sent me a message as well. Dan Burke to Seth Stefano to. Ooh, there you go. I like that. We got our reporter out there in the on the far boards getting information for us. Like I said, we will get over there to the ladies' match. Soldier's going to get rid of that blue tip. Oop. He did that wrong. Yeah, he needs the 15 there. Or the 18. Oop, he's going the wrong way. Ooh, okay. Uh, Still going the wrong way. Nope. Getting some more score. Nope, nope, nope. They're still going the wrong way. It was a 19. Oh, boy. Well, on the floor, we got some more updates. Larry Butler, 3. Elliot Milk, nil. Wow. Garrett Rakowski, nil. Demery Lawrence, 1. Nope. Dan Burke, 3. Seth Stefano, 2. 
So why don't we do this in the meantime? We'll head on over to board number two. Yep, good. We'll go ahead and switch our board on over. We'll watch Paula Murphy and Liz Tynan in the meantime. We'll get rid of this score line. Hey, Paul Rogers won one of the signed jerseys. Hey, Let's go. there we go, Paul. Gotta love that. Which one do you win? Paul looking to go 2 0 up right now. And that's exactly what yep. she does. A 5.0 from Paula Murphy right there. Great averages. So, how about this? I wanted to mention Kevin Luke finishing last year in the top 32. He, he wanted some revenge. He's going to get that revenge. He's yep. sitting a guaranteed third place finish now or or uh, more. As there's our look at Liz Tynan as we're heading right back over. Now to uh, our gentleman here. I'm going to guess they just figured it out. That they did. We'll go ahead and post our scoreboard one more time here. 1-1. One, one. Larry Butler, 5. Nil over Elliot Milk. So the Milkman's out. The Milkman, unfortunately, will bid adieu. All right, we'll see what Rick decides to do here. Options. He can point first. That's what he's doing. Stand there for all three of them. Alright, Soldier gets himself a 5 mark. They're only a 4.83 in this leg. Yeah, is he still able to capitalize here? And put this leg to rest and make this a 2-0 lead for him. I would say that was pretty good capitalization. Rick could take the two cricket legs right here, too. Yep. That's that's big. How about a nine mark there for Leonard Gates? Still behind in points, but... Drags it back into it a little bit. Oh, I'm surprised he went back in the 20s instead of just closing the 16s there. He's just padding, like a little it. Bit, padding a little bit more of the lead. He knows if he's going to win this one, it's got to be with force. Well, that'll work. Rick's going to probably... Get the 15s first before closing the 16s. Yep, now 16. And back to the 15s. That'll work. Rick Henzie. Perfection. Perfect darts here. He's doing exactly what he needs to. 5.5, 5.54. Nice five mark on the bulls for Gates there. But one, two, three needed for Henzie. To advance into the fourth leg with the lead. Up he's going points. Yep. Missed that first one right down for points. And now Soldier has winning darts in his hand for this leg. Oh wow. This would be a massive steal. Oh, oh geez. Trip 15. Oh, he wanted that. Oh my goodness. The daughters of Rick Hensy sigh in relief back there yeah. as they know. All right, Dad, put this away here. Okay. Still the same scenario. Yep, 
He's gonna get a look at it again. This dude's unreal. Double 15 this time. Pow, there it is. And Hensy can't do nothing wow. but shake his head knowing, yep, I had that one coming. Leonard Gates steals leg number three, breaks the throw right back. We have yet to have a hold of throw in three legs. That's just nuts here as we'll head on over to board number two for just a second. This is game number three. It's a 2-0 lead for Paula, correct? Yes, it is. Ah! See Liz tying in here. Good close there as we head right back over to leg number four. Winner of this will be playing for the king seed against Kevin Luke. A little Elvin Bishop in the background. Love it. Fooled around and fell in love. <laughs> fell in love with his game of darts. And I believe that means that whoever loses this leg, or this match, has Danny Baggish on the loser side, potentially. That is exactly what it is. They'll go to uh, 105.3, and they'll have Danny Baggish, Ryan uh, Gervis, or Sestefano Dan Burke, wow. potentially, as the lineup. So, boy, oh boy. Interesting. Things are getting interesting. Leonard unable to leave a finish there. So Rick has six starts from 181. I'm going to be honest here, Sean. We were predicting 7 or 8 o'clock. We may. Yeah, this is running this is real quick. rolling right now. Now, it could slow down here at a certain point. It very well could be. I mean, we could get to that point. But so far, great stuff. 68 remaining for Gates, but Hensy can take this 44 out and make this 2 2. And yeah, this would be the fourth consecutive break of throw if Rick can get this. <sighs> what are you doing there, Hensy? Are you going for 12? Or was he going 20? He was going 20, 24. That's why you gotta go 12, 32, or 4 tops, even the 8 for the 36. Because that will happen if not. Oh, no. That is... Wow. That is maybe just a, a lapse and, mm. and and forgetting that trip 20s there that can bust your score. Oh, you're going to have to get over that quickly as Leonard takes a 3-1 lead now. Oh, that is heartbreaking right there. And it's going to be hard for him to... To get out of that and get that, just push it out of his mind, honestly. All right, we're going to see if that catapults Leonard here a little bit, too, and it sure does. 180, Leonard Gates. Man. Good darts there from Rick. Yeah, Greg saying that's a tough way to lose. Yeah, exactly. It really is. I mean, Paula Murphy does take the three-nil advantage over Liz Tynan, sneaking out the cricket leg there. And Demery Lawrence and Garakowski are in a battle right now. Two-one lead for Lawrence. Okay. I like it. Rick leaves 136. Leonard not going to put as much pressure on that as he wanted to. Leaves 122. So here we go. Rick Henze. Trip 20, trip 20, double eight. Nope. Trip 20 will leave double 18. Does that. But Leonard's going to go look here at the 122, and he's going to start on the 18s. Another update from the floor. Dan Burke, four. Sestefano, three. You can still take this out. Trip 20 for double bull. Double bullseye. Gets the bullseye. 
four to one lead here for Leonard Gates, and wow, heartbreaking way to lose the last two legs. Look at Rick. He, he smiled, shook his yeah. head, looked at his kiddos. The kiddos did the exact yep. same. Smiled, shook their head back at Tad. Wow. Holy goodness. I don't know if you guys can just hear the air getting sucked out of the room. It's getting sucked out of, out of our commentary voices here. I mean, it's just literally like, what is going on right now? I mean, this is how Leonard Gates wins matches. He just, his timing is so phenomenal. Sorry. No, there's just one thing I can't stand. It's when you accidentally put your phone into, like, voice text mode. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we start talking and you got a, a, a book written on your text message screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daniel Floyd saying Rick could easily be up 4-1. to one. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I mean, this could very well be a tied match, if not Rick in the lead. Yep. It, it's just unfortunate that it's been a, a case of one or two uh, mishaps that have made this in favor of... Leonard Gates. I'm like improbable things happening too. That's not it. part of the improbability. White horse there from Leonard Gates. Wow. Just stepping on the throat. There it is, Leonard Gates, 5-1 victory over Rick Henze.